welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a trying new stuff video and in these types of videos I like to basically try new stuff that I've gotten um, whether it be just from one brand or lots of brands and I'm gonna be doing a full tutorial so I'm gonna use products that I've already used before that you guys have seen before this is mostly gonna be focused on the products I got from cover effects and a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a review on the cover effects custom blot drops so I have that for you I also have the click stick which is this bad boy right here. This is a double ended stick where you can put two different shades in one stick and it's like little baby tiny versions of Cover FX products. These are the Cover FX Perfect Pencils and I'm gonna be explaining to you guys what you guys can use the Cover FX pencil for, but I really love these pencils. I think these are my favorite out of all of the products that I tried today um, because there are other products like this on the market but they don't do as well as this one does because this one's just so creamy, it's retractable, and it comes in your skin tone. I've got all of these cover effects products to show you guys in this video, so stay tuned. I hope that you guys like my finished look that I have on. It's just a glowy, summery, very simple, neutral look. You guys know the drill. I do simple, neutral. That's just what I do. Yeah, roll it. We're gonna be trying new stuff today. You guys know I like to try new stuff. This bump is so big, but it's okay. I don't mind having blemishes because today we are going to use new products that cover. I mean, it's only right that we use cover effects. I'm gonna talk to you guys about them because I mean, how else are you gonna know whether or not you wanna get something or how it'll work for you if you don't see anybody use it? So that's why I'm here. Cover effects has a new system out called the Click Stick, customizable tube that you can put whatever preference of product you want in it. So it's like having two products in one in a small travel size on the go situation. You carry this in your purse or put it in your travel makeup bag, whatever. And you will be able to have two products in one on your hand whenever you need them. When you're traveling, you don't have to carry a whole bunch of stuff with you. The click stick itself is $8 and then you put two different products in here. I have three. There's three different kinds of products you can get. You can get a correct click. I think there's six different color correcting shades. Um, this one is the color brick. So it's just a red orange color corrector. Usually people use these to cover up dark spots. The Enhance Click is a cream illuminating stick. They have different highlights you can get. Um, this one is in the shade Candlelight, is G80, which is a cover click. And it's basically just their cream foundation, but in a little stick version. You could get like a light color and a darker color so you can highlight and contour or you could just get your skin tone in a darker color to contour, whatever you wanted to do. All three of these are $18 each and then the stick is $8. Cover FX also has a new product and it is the Custom Blot Drops. And this product here is basically like their um, other drops. They have oil drops, they have the cover drops. So what this does is it mattifies any product, any liquid or cream product that you want to use on your face. So I really love this primer, but it's not matte. So I feel like it'll be a good way to test this product out. This is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. And I'm going to use the drops. So ooh, it's pretty thick. I'm gonna use a couple drops of that. Now this is for my oily skin gals. If you have oily skin and you find that you like certain products, but they're not mattifying, this can add just a little extra oomph of mattifyingnessness. We're gonna mix that. Oh, it gives it a nice silicone-y texture. Put that in the places where I get oily the fastest. Um, it's not like too matte to where my face looks dry. So far, so good. It feels really smooth. Like I can feel it on my hand. It feels very, very smooth. Interesting. We're gonna use the cover stick to, or the correct stick, I'm sorry. We still are dealing with a little bit of darkness. So I'm gonna put this in those areas. Now I've been told that I should set first before I put on my foundation so that way it won't move. 
and just to set that with some loose powder because apparently that was the issue but in the camera i can kind of tell that it's kind of helping to cover up those dark spots okay all right and i love this little thing i've actually been using it for a couple days i've been cheating this is not a first impressions completely because i've been using this but i really like this for like on the go days when i don't want to put on a whole bunch of foundation and stuff and i'm gonna take my stick and i'm gonna just swipe it over i like this because it is literally the exact same thing as the uh cream compact foundation which is a really good foundation i'm gonna just kind of smooth that over my skin and I don't put foundation directly on my nose anymore because what I've learned is the more product I put on my nose, the oilier my nose gets throughout the day. So I try not to put a lot of product on my nose. Once I've gotten all my foundation all over, I just take whatever's left and buff it over my nose. So I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I forgot how much I liked it, but I recently found it when I was cleaning my room up. I forgot how much I love this concealer. And one thing I like about this foundation is that it's not cakey. It really blends well with my other liquid and cream products. And I'm gonna contour using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Espresso. This one's really dark, so probably should have got beautiful bronze. It's fine. Hair, can you stop, please? Thank you. I'm gonna use this little brush by Artiste to kind of blend out my nose contour. And I'm gonna use ColourPop Bronze Me because it's my favorite bronzer ever. My tulip, this is a tulip brush by Sedona Lace. It's the FB03. I don't know if they still sell this brush, but I still use it, so. It's imperative during the summertime to set everything with powder. Use as much powder as you need to because oily peoples, thou shalt set everything with powder. I'm gonna go back and set everything with my MAC Studio Fix powder in the color NC43. I feel like this powder really gives me like a really good airbrushed look and it kind of helps to blend out some of that bronzer so that I'm not too bronze. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and I'm gonna come back. So as of late I have been Really not feeling using concealer to clean up my eyebrows, but CoverFX also has these new pencils. They are called the Perfect Pencil. Basically what the Perfect Pencil is supposed to do is it's supposed to be like an all-in-one kind of pencil. I'm gonna show you guys swatches of these. This is G Medium. This is in Medium Deep. And this one is in Deep. So as you can see, in Deep is a little darker than my skin complexion. In medium deep is almost my skin complexion and then this one's like way too light. Let's say you mess up your eyebrow or something. This is like an easy way to clean up your brows, imperfections, or like if you get mascara on your face or something. I'm gonna use in medium deep to fix my brow bone here. I feel like it's easier to not use concealer, especially because I do my brows after I do the rest of my face. I think this is a little easier to use. Feeling a little bit more of a more subtle brow. One that looks more natural. This pencil definitely helps me to achieve that. And I like that it's not like one you have to sharpen. I like that it's retractable. Sharpening is such an inconvenience. So I'm just gonna use my beauty blender to kind of blend that out, but you can just use your finger if you want to. I'm gonna highlight. And I'm gonna use my Click Stick in the Enhance Click color. So I'm gonna do the tip of my nose. And this is a very bronzy color. It's not very bright. Once I put my highlighter on top, it's gonna be like boom, boom, pow, you know what I'm saying? So it's a good base. I think it's better for deeper skin tones, probably not on me, but you can definitely see it though. It's just not super bright. Like I like my highlights to be, it's very subtle. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm gonna use Golden Bronze because it's a very golden bronze. <laughs> shine bright, shine far, don't be shy, be a star. So because I wanted to do like a glowy, everyday kind of look, um, I'm not gonna do a lot on my lid. I'm gonna take my Tarte In Bloom palette and I'm just gonna take a shimmery shadow and dust that all over my lid. And this is the Funny Girl shadow. And then in my crease, I'm just gonna put the Rebel color just to bronze up my crease a little bit. And now I'm gonna wind my waterline and I'm gonna use G, what is it? G Medium.
and I like to use waterproof mascara on my lower lash line now because it keeps it from smudging. So if you're also a hot mess like me and you always get mascara all on your under eyes, you can take your perfect pencil and perfect underneath. Oh yeah, that works so well. That works so well, oh my gosh, that works so well. And it also helps to fix creasing underneath my eye. Mm. Oh. If you have problems with your under eyes creasing throughout the day, you could take this pencil with you problem solved and touch up your oh my gosh you guys i think we just discovered greatness do you hear this they're outside acting a fool where are your parents at so you can use the perfect pencil to line your lips so i'm gonna line my lips with in deep you can also use it to like clean up around your mouth if you use like a dark color uh and you like get out of the lines and this will keep your lipstick from bleeding too if you just wanted to wear a lipstick those are the colors koi this is an extremely bright color, but this liner is helping to keep it from going crazy. Cause you know how when you put lipstick on and you rub it in, it like gets crazy on you and starts going places you didn't want it to go. But the lip liner is really helping to keep it in place. Now we got our lashes on. I'm gonna take some of this Jouer uh, lip cream in the color Pample Mousse. I wanna say it's like a rose gold color. And I'm gonna put that right on top of that koi just to make it like really golden I like that jouet i like that a lot i like it a lot i think i'm gonna add some gloss i have a problem and i like to add gloss to everything i love this gloss this is mark jacobs pink flamingo gloss it just always works for me i'm gonna use this k lip liner make the edges a little darker <laughs> Somebody was outside fighting. The police are downstairs. Oh my god. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. So I'm really liking these products. You should try the blot drops. I think the blot drops work great. I don't know how they'll hold up, but I'll give you guys like an updated review on it later on and let you guys know. But for me, they worked pretty good as far as making like my primer matte. I want to try it with a different foundation. Really like the cover stick though. And I think I'm going to get another one of these and use it to contour. The pencils, I would say get a shade darker than what you think you are. So I really like the in deep the g medium worked perfect for my waterline so it just depends on what look you're going for these are the three that i have but there are 10 shades they're all based on undertone so the g shades are based on like caramel golden undertones and the n shades are neutral undertones but the n shades come in deeper colors if you're going to get anything from the things that i mentioned really like the pencil i think the pencil is probably my favorite out of all of them i think the pencil has a lot more uses um than most pencils that i've tried that that are like skin tone pencils. I like the consistency of it because it works for many different types of areas and it would be very beneficial to people who make mistakes like me because I make a lot of mistakes when I do my makeup. I'll definitely put all the information you need about Cover FX new products in the description box so you guys can check them out um, and try them out for yourselves because I definitely think that you should. They are available online and at Sephora. I think that's all. I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye!